On this dusty road in southeast Ukraine, Reuters journalists have made the first independent confirmation that the Ukrainian military's counteroffensive is gaining ground. Now in its early stages, although Russia's government hasn't officially acknowledged the loss of this village or several others. This is the village of Neskuchne in the Donetsk region. It once had a population of several hundred. Now its streets are silent, except for artillery fire in the distance. Not a single building is undamaged. Artem is a soldier with Ukraine's territorial defense forces and is telling us the place was under Russian occupation for a year and a half. The Russians were chased out three days ago, he says, and quote, these are Ukrainian lands. It's not clear how much momentum Ukraine's assault is carrying right now or the losses for each side. This video released by Russia's military on Tuesday is said to show American-made Bradley fighting vehicles and German-made Leopard tanks captured from Ukraine elsewhere on the front line. Reuters couldn't immediately confirm the account or the location or when it was filmed. Russia's made other claims in recent days of destroying Western armored vehicles that were donated to Ukraine. In Neskuchne, three bodies litter the ground, said to be Russian forces. Artem says his unit watched how one of them died on a drone camera. The Russians were carrying their comrade and left him here. These are still the early days of the counteroffensive. Tens of thousands of fresh Ukrainian troops and hundreds of Western armored vehicles are yet to be committed to the fight. But Russia has also had months to prepare, with multiple defensive lines and fallback positions, meaning Ukraine's advance doesn't necessarily mean it's breached through.